Hello everybody, it's April 19th, 2020. It is uh, 7.02 in the morning Pacific time and I'll explain that here in a couple of a moments. I want to take a moment uh, for all of us to reflect that a quarter century ago, uh, 25 years ago today, at this very time, um, Oklahoma City bombing took place. And this occurred a couple of months before I was born. Um, I actually met a, a friend last year who was born on that day. It was just like a big, terrible event. It was one of the worst terrorist attacks on this country um, until 9-11 happened, in which I remember when 9-11 happened. So I just want uh, like us to reflect on, on what happened. According to what the official narrative says, uh, there were two principal suspects, uh, Timothy McVeigh and Terry Nichols, and apparently they were actually veterans of the United States military. And it's said that they were in retaliation to um, Ruby Ridge and the Waco siege, and the Waco siege lasting from February 28th to April 19th, 1993. So the Waco, um, uh, or yeah, the Waco siege. Um, ended two years to the day prior, uh, which was 27 years ago today. What happened, like, on this day was that Timothy McVeigh parked a rider truck outside the Alfred P. Murrah building in Oklahoma City, walked away, and at 9.02 Central Time, or 7.02 Pacific Time, about 4,800 pounds of explosives exploded. It is reported that 168 people were killed, um, 19 of them being children uh, or babies, babies, small children, um, and hundreds and hundreds of people were injured. Um, it said that um, it affected like 16 uh, city blocks and could be felt over 50 miles away. And it actually measured 3.0 um, on the Richter scale. And that's how, you know, catastrophic it was. One of my Royal Ranger commanders a year or two ago told me that like they used diesel and fertilizer that's powerful stuff uh, that they used um, and uh, Timothy McVeigh ended up being executed on um, um, June 11th 2001 which was 11 days before my last day of kindergarten and uh, three months before 9-11 so obviously I was six years old when 9-11 happened and I'll never never forget that uh, season. Currently Terry Nichols is serving 161 life sentences in the ADX uh, Supermax prison in Florence, Colorado. And the entire Oklahoma City bombing, uh, the damages that it caused, cost like 652 million uh, dollars, US dollars, if I uh, remember the figures correctly, which is, you know, hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars, uh, is very, you know, catastrophic. So, um, Obviously, this was, you know, a couple of months before I was born. My mother and grandfather uh, told their stories where they were at. And in fact, uh, my grandfather, he was born and raised in Oklahoma. And I asked him one time, had you ever been to Oklahoma City? He said, of course. And I'm like, what year was that? Do you think it's possible that you may have seen the Alfred P. Murrah building as it stood? And my grandpa got a little baffled, and he was like, yeah, you never know. Maybe. I just don't remember. So something interesting uh, uh, to think about. I personally have, I can't tell you, I have many, 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 many friends who have seen the Twin Towers, have been inside the Twin Towers. I just wish I could have at least saw them as they stood, like a lot of my friends have. Uh, but anyway, I just want us to take a moment um, just to reflect and remember... Uh, the lives lost and also the lives damaged, you know, psychologic, uh, or, yeah, psychologically across Oklahoma City and the state and the entire uh, country. I mean, this affects more than, you know, uh, just physical, uh, just the physical body, but, you know, um, a lot of us could receive, you know, uh, like sadness and grief over this. So let's just remember them on this day and honor them.